Hey guys, I'm at the uh, Key Underwood Memorial Coondog Cemetery here in Alabama and uh, all those graves beyond there are uh, loyal coondogs. Key Underwood, 1962, this tree, it's missing some pieces damaged um, you can see the leg of a, a dog there probably the body little paw down there there's another one over here we'll look at it and then we'll we'll go look at some of the graves here real quick this one says the same thing the key underwood coon dog memorial graveyard started september 4th 1937 holy buckets this is a uh, this is an old one a lot of dogs buried out here. And there you can see the, oops, get a little too close there for you. you can see the memorial there with the, the dogs obviously chasing the, symbolizing the dog chasing the tr or tree and the uh, raccoon. So let's go around here and look at some of the, look at some of the stones here and see what they kind of say. Might stop at some interesting ones. 2011. Oh, yeah. Read off some dates here and there. Black Ranger is an older one. 1962 born, 1976. He was a good as the best and better than the rest. Owner Fulton Matthews. There are some expensive stones out here too as we look at a few of them here. And people clearly visit or somebody clearly takes care of it. Champion. Straight talking Tex. It's a black and tan. Tom Tom. I'll go over here, somebody over here, over here. I don't know what all the uh, uh, types are. You know, the, the Blue Flash, Blue Flash Junior. So you got to, not sure really what UNK stands for and some of the other abbreviations. 97. Some are pretty simple. Best walker dog and my best friend. Timber just passed away in 20, April 20th, or April 4th, 1920, or 2020. Another 2020 there. Queen. Here's a recent one. Alexander's. I can't quite read that. Just died. Misty Morning Fern. Another very recent one here. PK Reserve World Champion, UNC, UKC Grand Knight Champion, Sal. I want to say a lot of a lot of love for their that old blue here. I guess that's what I, that's the name. I guess I kind of think of. There's a nice large one. Number one current and historical reproducing English female, 2018. Produced 25 titled pups, tilt titled pups, which is more than any English female past or present.
67 is the oldest marked one I've seen. I'm sure there's a lot more unmarked out here. Like I said, some are very simple. Older one here, bear, 75 to 87. We don't know the number of uh, dogs buried out here. We're getting a little bit of the older ones here. One seventy nine Night Champion Bluebill, older one. Coats, can't quite read the, the date on that one. Put more down here, can't quite read those. Work our way back up here. Like I said, a lot of them are just marked by old uh, old stones. If they had anything on them, they're long gone or they're broken. Quite a few of them right there, though. If my shadow gets out of the way. That's a wood one. Let me put some change there for it. 71 to 79. Some of us suspect most of those over there are quite a bit older. And definitely the older part now. Fanny, 1968 to 79. Ranger. 64 to 83, 18 years, that's, I assume it's a pretty long time for a, a dog, coon dog. Dr. Doom, September 22nd, 1977 to 1990. That's a neat one. World Champion Blue Tick, Skid. I'm assuming blue tick is a breed of hound. You can see the grounds are really nice here. I mean, they got the pavilion here. They obviously still use it, flagpole. There's a guest registry. We'll, we'll give that a signature before we leave. Let's turn around. Oh, there's an old one. We'll go start up here again. We'll walk down this row. Oh, here's the old stuff here. Um, 1960. Didn't give a name though. Milwaukee died 1957. Buried here. Oops, throwing stuff on that one. Queen. 1962 right there. Got the little dog. Got another one here just laying down, sleeping. Where's that old one I saw? There it is. Old one is dated. Rock. October 31st, 1947. That's the oldest marked one I've seen. I, like I said, I suspect some of these are quite a bit older, some of these in this area. Just can't read them anymore. Louie. Here's a big one that's toppled. So there you go. There's the uh, 
Here's the Coon Dog Cemetery. You do have to get permission to bury out here. So it obviously is managed and owned by an association probably that takes care of everything. But you can see how expansive it is. Well, we were way over there and we kind of walked back that way. Probably the signs over here. The Coon Dog Cemetery, only cemetery of its kind in the world. Only coon hounds are allowed to be buried. Oh, troop. First dog laid to rest here September 4th, 1937. Just reading that off the sign here on the on the tree there. So yeah, first burial 1937. So it was like that one we found in the 40s was definitely early, early. But really nice setting here. It's gonna, they got a guest register, they got some picnic tables. So we'll go check out the uh, guest register. Well, there's visits almost every day. So far mostly from the region of oh, Pennsylvania. Alabama, Mississippi. Kentucky, New Hampshire. Well, we'll add mine and what is today? I already forget. One twenty-five twenty-two. Four more. There we go. I've been here. All right. Well, we'll do a quick little walk through here one more time, and then we'll head on to the next uh, next item here. All right. We'll do one more little quick walk through here, and give y'all once over. But you can yeah, you can see how far it goes. A lot of a lot of love for the dogs. A lot of these are from like kennels, design, you know, actual kennels. Um, so they might have been quite a, you know, pretty serious breeding groups as well with uh, good ones to breed. Here are a couple other old ones I missed. Old Tip, 1949. I think I pointed out Queen earlier, 1951. Boone, 1965. Rough, 1958 to 1965. So, very neat. Now check out the back side of this one. Bragg. The best east of the Mississippi River owned by Bill McCorkle. There you go, Bragg. All right. One of them, one of its only kind out here. The, the Coon Dog Cemetery here in Alabama. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I post four or five times a month, usually just cemetery videos, uh, the Goonies content, as well as just my travels, exploring, etc. So uh, if you take a few seconds and just uh, hit that little subscribe button, that would be great. Uh, so you don't miss anything coming up. And in the meantime, here's a few more uh, fun videos that I hope you'll enjoy.